Well, according to UDISC, 500 million people live within about six miles of disc golf courses worldwide. Yeah, with more than 14,000 disc golf courses to choose from, here locally, members with the Wichita Falls Disc Golf Association are looking to add to that number. Curtis Jackson spoke with the president of the association, Darren Young. So, Curtis, they're creating a brand new course right here over on the east side of Wichita Falls. Yeah, that's right. This is just one of the newly installed courses in Texoma, and when it came to course design, they called in someone all too familiar to the ever-growing sport for help. Nearly four decades ago, Parks Administrator Terry Points, along with some buddies, created a disc golf course at Lucy Park with just a few cans of spray paint and some discs. Fast forward to 2023, and residents in Wichita Falls have a plethora of courses to play on right here in Wichita County alone and soon they'll have another full 18-hole course in Williams Park. And Williams Park is like perfect in every way because it's in a low-income low income area in Wichita Falls, a massive park that's underutilized, and disc golf is so cheap uh, in terms of projects that are actually being added to a park, um, and so they were all on board. Once they found a suitable park, designing each hole was up next, and Young couldn't think of anyone more qualified than PDGA Rookie of the Year in 2000 and World Champ in 2009, Avery Jenkins. That's why I'm here this week is to uh, do a full evaluation of the property, walk through assessments, and really pick and choose the, the best uh, quality holes, you know, from tee pads and baskets throughout the entire park. A big part of it was his passion for the project, his uh, willingness to be part of it, and um, yeah, so we're, we're really excited to have Avery. He's a, he really brings a lot of legitimacy to the area uh, and to the project as well. Jenkins has designed courses all over the nation, and Young says having a new course designed by a pro could add to the rapid growth of the sport by exposing more people to it. It's an underserved area of the city, um, so giving others a chance to have it be exposed to disc golf and a cheap activity, as Avery was saying, um, a cheap, fun, interactive activity that gets you outside. Uh, we hope to, that it brings people outside to a park that's not currently being used very often. So when the course is open, go out and try your hand at it. You never know, you could be the next Avery Jenkins. Well, Jenkins will continue his assessment of the park for the remainder of the week. Now, once his design is complete, Young says it could be roughly six to eight weeks before opening. Now, for more information on the WFDGA, click inside the story over on our website. That's going to be something really awesome it really for is that park. Boy, he could throw that I thing. I know, kidding. that was impressive. He's got an arm on him. Yeah, he sure he, does. But I understand you wanted to challenge him. Is that <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, I might have to get back up with him this week. So I, I think know. you should. I think you should. Okay, Curtis, thank you so much.